Hey guys, it's uh, Jibate Streams here and uh, welcome back to Seven Nights Idol Adventure and I'm quite excited about this uh, new update guys. And currently I am challenging this uh, stage uh, 20,000 plus and uh, the highest stage uh, that would be 20,800. So before so much ado, let's uh, check what's new on Seven Nights Idol Adventure. So let's uh, move first uh, to this uh, icon here which uh, we have here some uh, gold dungeon puck. Okay, that would cost us uh, somehow like uh, $7. And then uh, we have your Hero XP Dungeon Pack, and that would cost uh, somehow like $11 or $12. And then we have your Stage uh, Clear Pack on uh, Stage 20,000 that would cost us like uh, $15. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's uh, check here the event. So of course, uh, we have here the Hell's uh, Paradise uh, Challengers Pass, and uh, I think most or almost all of the players already completed this one. And uh, we have here the Midnight uh, or Midsummer Nights uh, Carnival event in which uh, you can log in daily and you can get this uh, Blue Crescent Moon and uh, do, and also by doing this uh, quest. And also on our shop, I think uh, the best hero here that would be Rakshasa. This is uh, quite good in uh, some uh, PvE game modes and also in uh, PvP. So uh, my Rakshasa is already at 9 stars guys and uh, this is quite a, a very decent hero. And uh, you can purchase this Rakshasa for free. We have here also Yushin that provides some accuracy buff. And uh, if you will check here our uh, data sheet, Yushin is also a very decent hero, especially for beginners and uh, new players. And also we have here some course and a paralysis uh, debuff. Next, uh, we have here also Kwonwo. Actually, Kwonwo is uh, decent also in some uh, PvE game modes, especially in the guild boss because uh, he provides some uh, bleed effect with his called uh, Shattered. And also we have here some uh, fire sp or fierce spirit level 5 that uh, provides your melee type allies by 25% uh, or that increases the final attack by 25%. And my Kunu now is like at 9 stars. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, proceed again to our... I think we have here... Okay, let's check our gold dungeon. So uh, the highest stage on our gold dungeon, let's uh, check this out if uh, they increase it. Okay, that is still uh, stage 900 which is the highest level. And uh, if you'll check here our uh, Hero XP Dungeon, the Hero XP Dungeon was increased to stage uh, 700. And uh, you can actually obtain here some Legendary Hero Ticket Summoning 4. Okay, let's uh, check the rate info here, guys. And uh, we can actually see here new heroes. So let's see what uh, new heroes can we get here. We have your Klahan Amelia Baidam. So I think Baidam is the best hero here. Wow. And uh, we can get here the... Uh, summer uh, heroes that would be Shane, uh, Mainstream Suit, and also Karen. So, uh, that is only a uh, chance in order to get that. And uh, we have your okay. We have your also, guys. And I hope uh, and I hope uh, we can get here uh, some of this uh, summer uh, festival uh, heroes. Shane, especially Shane, guys. This is a very, very decent hero. And then uh, next on our uh, Knight's Token Dungeon, if you will check here. Okay. That is still uh, stage 600. Then on our Relic Shard Dungeon, that is still a stage 600 and then on the on our path okay that is still uh 500 okay anyway uh, let's uh, proceed again to our infinite tower if uh, they they increase it okay that is still 1800 guys okay so let's uh, proceed to our shop guys and let's see if uh, we can find some good deals here so if you will check here uh some good deals i think the best uh deal here that would be this one it would cost you like a two dollars and that will give you thirty thousand rubies and that is 100 so or 300 so months okay this is a 300 so months for uh, two dollars and also we have here i think this one the brands and brand sell rate up pack and uh, that would cost you around the uh, 30 dollars we have here two thousand summoning tickets and also forty nine thousand rubies so i think uh, those are two are the best deals here and next uh, if you'll we'll proceed to your summoning uh, okay so by checking here on this uh, red dot if you will check here guys uh, we can actually claim lots of rewards here until level 10 so take a look at that we have your 10 20 uh rate uh, or 20 so uh, regular summoning tickets 100 and uh, we have here some legendary summoning tickets so if we will claim this all that would be a total of 1060 and also, we have your 11 legendary uh, summoning tickets. And also, if we will check here our pets, 
we can have here some or lots of these uh, pet summoning uh, tickets, guys, or regular summoning tickets. And uh, if you will claim that, then that would be a total of 4,360 uh, tickets. My God, that is insane. <laughs> and also, of course, uh, we have here the Branch and Branch rate up summon. And let's check if uh, they have some other rate up summon. Okay, so we have Orly. And also, we have here Jake. Of course, the Four Lords uh, rate up summon. And regular summon. So let's uh, check Branch and Branch. Okay, so uh, this is the current uh, details or the skills description of this uh, hero or the new meta hero. So let's uh, check if uh, they revise it. So actually, uh, Branch and Branch is a melee type, a dark knight. And if we'll check here the basic attack, that is uh, pretty decent. 450% uh, of attack to the target. And uh, it deals uh, critic damage equal to 600% of attack to the target. And this is quite nice. And grants a temple of uh, saviors or temple saviors buff to allies uh, for 2 seconds of unsuccessful attack. And also grants uh, power and good in evil. Okay, so this temple of uh, saviors, uh, it increases attack by 25% and crit damage by 20%. And... Uh, let's uh, check this out guys if uh, we will compare that with the uh, other heroes like uh, those uh, heroes that possesses some attack buff and also crit damage buff uh, i will do that on my next video and uh, we will do only some uh, overview on this uh, hero so it increases caster's final attack by 15 percent for each melee unit in the team up to 45 percent uh, just like uh, our hero regen life but our hero regen life uh, it increases the uh, final attack on range type units and uh, we have here some active skill called uh, Saving Strike. It grants the blessings of uh, Valhalla. A buff to the caster for 10 seconds and deals. Wow, that's 3,000. Very, very huge. My God. Of attack and an AOE. That is a 4 meters area around the target. And can inflict uh, Abyssal Brand debuff. For 10 seconds upon successful attack and brands and brands will obtain immortality back for 5 seconds when fallen. Limit only or limited only for one time. And the blessings of Valhalla, it obtains a shield equal to 60% of the caster's max HP and also immune to crowd control effects while the buff is active. And this effect cannot be removed with buff removal. So I think uh, this is a perma buff because we have here some 10 seconds and also the cooldown of this is at 10 seconds also. And uh, Abyssal Brand, uh, it decreases the critic rate by 24% and also the reduction rate by 24%. And we have here some immortality. And of course, let's check the attack speed that is 166. My goodness. So I will pull this hero on my next video, guys. Wow. So uh, let's check again uh, other uh, details here. So I think uh, that's all about uh, what's new on a Seven Nights Idol adventure. So uh, it's GPH Streams here. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. See you again on my next video. Bye-bye.